26 suspected drug dealers were rounded up as police from several departments swept through Kiwani this morning armed with arrest warrants. And even with 26 arrests, some people in town tell Robert Seath investigators have only scratched the surface of the drug trade in Henry County. I think it's going to open some eyes. It was a busy day at the Henry County Courthouse. 26 people in the Kiwani area were arraigned on drug charges. Almost all the suspects nabbed in the drug raid were charged with selling marijuana or cocaine. Amounts have not been disclosed. This is the biggest drug bust ever in the small town of Kiwani, but some residents aren't surprised. Of course, I understand things like that have been going on for years around, and I finally, I guess I finally decided to do something about it. They should have passed a lot more, I think. <laughs> Kursak says the investigation is continuing and more arrests are expected. Police are calling it the biggest drug bust in Henry County history. In a pre-dawn drug raid this morning, police netted nearly 30 alleged drug dealers. As Hoda Kotb reports, the arrests come as the result of a six-month undercover investigation. They filed into Henry County Court today in groups of eight and handcuffed together. Almost 30 people were busted in a drug raid early this morning, charged with selling pot and cocaine to undercover agents. All but one of those arrested was from Kiwani. Four of those arrested live on this street in Kiwani, Tremont Lane. One of them lives in this house. Velma Huber, the mother of teenage children, was charged this morning with the delivery of cocaine. Her son Matt says he was shocked when the police showed up on his front doorstep early this morning. 4.30, the state police came to my house with a search, search warrant yeah. and came in and there was about 16 of them came in, they tore up, you know, flipping stuff over and tearing it up. But police say their work is not over yet. Four warrants are still outstanding. But even when this operation wraps up, officials say their job fighting the drug problem in Kiwani will continue.